Hey guys, this is the brand new Rolls-Royce Cullinan. This is the first SUV that Rolls-Royce have ever made. Rolls-Royce is the most prominent luxury brand in the world, period. And the new Cullinan is the Rolls-Royce of SUVs. It's a love it or hate it design, but after driving it for two days, I can honestly say it looks a lot better in person than in photographs. This monster SUV got its name through the biggest diamond ever discovered at the time. It took a year for the cutter to design, and the story goes he passed out right after the first cut because he was so nervous he would break it. The diamond was made into nine pieces, and the two largest now reside as part of the Queen of England's scepter and crown, which is fitting because the Cullinan is the crown of the Rolls-Royce collection. The question is, should Rolls-Royce be making an SUV? We asked Torsten muller Odvos, the CEO of Rolls-Royce. Particularly here in the US market, uh, that phenomenon of uh, sedans in a way dying and SUVs becoming more and more and more and more popular is uh, very much a trend we have envis envisaged also with our clientele. And for that reason, that was the clear decision also to enter into that segment. But, and I think rightly so, we took our time. So the second question is, what does Rolls-Royce bring to the table when compared to the Bentley Bentayga? I asked Torsten that question. I mean, at the end of the day, it's a Rolls-Royce and we need to keep uh, up to our brand promise, which is uh, excellence in every single detail. And of course, which is also Magic Carpet Ride, which is uh, luxury in its perfect form and uh, finest materials, supreme quality, uh, engineering into perfection, and uh, that's Rolls-Royce. And Cullinan is that in a new kind of interpretation, in a new form. He went on to point out that the Bentley Bentayga shares the same platform as the Audi Q7, whereas the Cullinan is on a purpose-built platform. Just like everything else about the car, it's unique. The wind is whistling outside the Cullinan and you can't hear a thing here in the back seat because they have put a hundred kilos of sound deadening material inside this vehicle, three millimeter thickness of glass with foil in between the glass to make sure that all the sounds and the noises from outside stay on the outside. And in the back seat, this vehicle is super luxurious. Fold out electric tables that come down, a screen that allows you to have command of the vehicle and of course, things like champagne fridges in the back, uh, just the norm for any Rolls-Royce owner. Under the hood, the same 6.75 litre twin turbo V12 engine as in the Phantom. It sits right up in front making 563 brake horsepower and is mated to a satellite aided transmission that looks ahead and selects the right gear before it's needed. We navigated some of the most challenging terrain in Jackson Hole, Wyoming and the Cullinan did not lose a step. Now it's not that Rolls-Royce don't trust me, but when you're driving a $350,000 Rolls-Royce SUV off-road, they want to have a minder in here to make sure I don't mess it up too much. We spent some time with Alex Innes, and Alex is the designer, or one of the design team, that put this car together. Yeah, I mean, to underline the collectability of these cars, and they are really very unique to us, um, we have, yeah, the, the, the tread plates which are created, and they sort of are a nice nod to the exclusive nature of the cars. Even at 7,021 feet above sea level, Rolls-Royce seem to have found their diamond. For our auto expert, I'm Nick Miles.